What up? It's me. I'm back to doing this again. Can you believe it? It's been so long since we've had a Funniest Home Videos. Did you miss it? Everybody keeps telling me they did. I'm going over here now. You all thought I forgot? That I didn't ever imagine about doing another Funniest Home Videos? You thought that- Fuck! You actually thought that I done did forgot about Funniest Home Videos. One of the most successful series on the channel. One of the biggest bangers on the JSE. Nah, you're wrong. This is an actual, like, regular size bottle. I've just shrunk. But it's back, baby! Funniest Home Videos! It's been so long since we did one. I've been scouring the internet, looking for the best content to react to. Really diving hard and digging deep by going to Twitter and getting recommended stuff by you guys. I actually didn't do any of this work at all, but I'll take all the credit for it. And if you're excited for Funniest Home Videos to be back, hit that like button right now. Can, can we- can we break the like button? Can we just break the system with how many likes are gonna run in because Funniest Home Videos is back? The greatest piece of entertainment of React footage on YouTube? I'm putting it in your hands. The power's all yours. <laughs> but you know what we have to do, right? You know what we have to get into before this series starts again. Our mantra. Our slogan. And the thing that we live by. Ugh. No! Get out of here! No one cares about a moment! Oh no! It's not coming off! L is for lovers who love one another A is for ass of which I like to eat U is for you're the only one for me G is for the only Gamer I see! And H is for happy I always feel it when you put them together What do you get? Laugh! I have the power It's never left me! Oh, I'm down here now <laughs> And we've got some zesty bangers for us today because people have been sending me this video a bunch. It's called the ultimate Irish prep bowl. Are you guys ready to laugh again? Cuz I sure am. If these aren't funny, I'm going to block and ban everybody that sent me it. Good luck. Grandma always said a salad a day will keep the tax man away. I'm not sure what that really means, but we all love a good salad. <laughs> See, this is why I think it's fake. I don't think it actually starts that way. I think it's just a parody of these types of videos, but trying to figure out where it, where it is joking and where it's not is going to be our message for today. I'm not sure what that really means, but we all love a good salad, but no one wants to be cutting with a knife all day. Grandma's got arthritis. She can't be doing that. <laughs> My name is Ronnie Neville, and this is the ultimate Irish prep ball. I'm going back. Fair plenty of I ask your grand nibble father on your ready. The, the ultimate Irish prep ball. This fucking god granny's got her tries. What is this video? Take a cucumber, one, two, three. It's so easy for delicious oh. fresh salad. Carrots go just as easy. Slice them up in no time at all. A bit of an onion, no more tears. The only tears you'll have are tears of joy. You <laughs> tears of joy, boys. We'll be cutting onions for days, lads. Let's go! I still don't know what's going on because this presentation is all over the place, but the product actually looks good. I want that. The amount of times I cut onions and I cry or sever a finger, I need this in my life. Isn't there a version of this that's like a, like just a hand board that you, what was that called? Easy peely. Oh my god, there's so many of them. This one. This type of one. What was that one called? Or this? Oh my god, there's millions of them now. I remember seeing this infomercial when I was a teenager. In between- I actually used to watch like the Shop Direct channel. That's- uh, and there's a Slap Chop. Holy fuck, there's the Slap Chop! There's so many of them. Alright, I'll give you a- I'll give you a go on that one, Ronnie. Look at you! 
Did the fucking peeler cut that haircut as well, did you? The fucking stadium. But this gets even better. The bowl can pivot. It's such a great idea. It lets you rinse and strain right in the same bowl. But my this thing is fucking legendary. I sat here thinking that I was going to be making fun of this thing. I'm about to call up my accountant and tell him how many can we buy. But my favourite is the veggie holder. Fits perfectly in your hand and you get every last bit. Have a look at this, guys. In seconds, it's done. Those are not real potatoes, Ronnie! Have a look at this guy. Those are sweet potatoes, Ronnie! You want to get out of Golden Wonders? Some roosters? This, this man's a sham. This man's more of a fake Irishman than I am. Americans and Irish, we have something in common. We love bananas. There it is! You can slice them up the in no time. The big Fucking Ronnie, home run, lads! Let's go! You know, Ronnie, I take it all back. You're a true lad. He's a fucking gamer. Look at that reveal. He's getting ready. I didn't know what was going to be under this towel. It could have been anything. It could be a middle finger. It could be a dildo for all I knew. But what does he pull out of it? We love God himself. Get you a partner that'll look at you the way Roddy look at spuds. <laughs> and then watch this. You add cold water and strain. That's how you take out the starch. That <laughs> That's how you take out the starch. <laughs> Ronnie's a fucking legend, boy. Grandma taught me that. She knows all the tricks. Except how to not get her arthritis. She has no idea how to avoid that. But if you order right now, watch what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to include everybody's favorite blade, the waffle slicer. Absolutely free. Ronnie! Say fucking less. I am on my way to... I'm calling right now, Ronnie. Yeah, I'll, I'll take 15 of them. Oh, you can see that I'm not actually calling anybody. Never mind. Y'all think you're slick, huh? Oh, Jack, we know you're not calling out to be silence! Don't want to hear any of it. I'm getting 15 of these slicers and I want to slice all of you up. If you have kids, this is a game changer. Little ones love the waffle Fuck slices. Them kids! Turn ordinary dishes into meals your family will remember. Ronnie, fuck them kids! I want this! I don't care if kids love waffle fries. Jack, except the guy loves an old waffle fry here and there. You get the whole set, the including whole the extra set. Blades, for only $19.99. Don't miss out. Don't miss out. <laughs> don't miss out. Don't miss out! Don't miss out for fuck's sake! Don't miss out! Don't miss out. Don't miss out. That's the face of a man whose entire livelihood is depending on you buying this vegetable slicer. If you don't buy this slicer, Ronnie's going to go out in the streets. They're going to take his house from him. No trouble. <laughs> that was so good. That's one of the most Irish things I've seen in a while. Is Ronnie actually Irish? Because it's amazing. Ronnie Neville. Let's look him up. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that's a different... Oh, no. Oh, please. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Fair play to Roddy. He's been watching closely the last four years, saw how gullible half the US population was, and realized he could flog them any old shite. <laughs> that was glorious. Ronnie's now legend. I want to meet Ronnie and hang out with him. Uh, do you think his house is full of those? Like peelers everywhere. And he's just got like a bunch of other stuff that he's selling you, and you come into his house, he's like, ah, great. Thanks so much for coming over. If you come into the kitchen, I've prepared a bunch of food and we can all eat it. And then after that, we're all going to go into the kitchen, uh, out of the kitchen, into the sitting room, and we're all going to watch a movie. Don't miss out. Oh, by Jesus, Sharani's back at it again. Look at that stance. That's the stance of a lad who's coming in to sell you some stuff and you know he's going to succeed because he's got the charm of the Irish. Irish people are good for two things. Drinking and talking. And sometimes those go hand in hand for a beautiful marriage. He looks like he's got like a fucking knife in his hand. He's got a knife and a potato in his hand. He's ready to kill <laughs> if you don't buy this peeler. Grandad always said a potato a day will keep the doctor away. But look, regular peelers, they slip the- Well, come on now. Are we keeping the tax man or the doctor away, Ronnie? Your grandparents are full of shite. I'm not sure what that really means, but grandma's got arthritis. Slice them up in no time at all. But look, regular peelers, they slip, they slide, they get stuck. Grandma's got arthritis. She can't be using one of these. Uh, grandma's still got arthritis. God bless her. She can't get away from it. Ronnie, she you're not be. even trying. Grandma's got arthritis. 
Steelers, they slip, they slide, they get stuck. Ronnie, you might as well be rubbing your penis against it, Ronnie. You're never going to... <laughs> There's plenty of Irish lads who've rubbed their penis against a potato, let me tell you. I... I don't have any experience. Ronnie Neville here with the ultimate Irish peeler. This oh is your Lord. serrated blade, this is your julienne blade, and this is your grater on the back. You take a potato, and yes, I know I'm Irish, I know you have all the jokes. You pull <laughs> towards yourself. <laughs> Holy to God! Side. Take your cabbage, you cut them in half. The blade is double sided with a serrated oh edge. My all the God. way up and all the way down. In seconds, that's your cold slur done. Have you ever tried to peel one of these? <laughs> no, Ronnie, I haven't. <laughs> I can't say that I have. My God, <laughs> there's something about him having a phallic-shaped object in his hand. I'm going, have you ever tried to peel one of these? <laughs> oh, Ronnie, you can say anything and I'll fucking laugh at it at this point. I'm... That's your cold slur done. Have I, you ever tried- I must be so gullible because I actually want this thing. I can't, every time I see stuff from these channels, I make fun of it and I laugh at it. But I genuinely want to buy all of them. They look so cool. My peeler grips in, it won't slip. It's like a hot knife true butter. From the A hot knife true butter. That's the face of a man who who knows what a hot knife goes through lots of things feels like. My peeler Holy will God. even peel an onion. Start on the top and come right down to the root. No more tears peeling. The only tears you'll have are tears of joy. There I fucking said it again, Ronnie! The legend! He's got he's coming back to jokes. He's selling me on the product. He's showing it work flawlessly. He's got a great accent. He's got charm. And look at that haircut. Like a young Irish Steve Irwin. Fair play to you, Ronnie. Ronnie, you could sell me rocks at this point and I'd buy them. For garlic, it's the best. Give it a rub. Give it a tap. Holy God. And it's done. Ronnie, that looks like shite. Give us a call or go online now <laughs> and it's yours for just 40 Why is Ronnie fingering that peeler? The ultimate Irish potato spiral. You dig him in, you turn him around. Now the more you turn, the more he cuts. And around and around he'll go. And around and around he'll go. Down into the bottom of the potato and he'll get no spiral going out here. On the bite, there he goes. Ronnie working his way down through the spud, spiraling out. All the way down, getting the peeler in, getting the peeler in. Oh, and it's a goal for Ronnie all the way to the semi finals. <laughs> Any Irish people watching this video, do you remember on some of the Irish sports radio stations watching or listening to some of the matches of Hurling or something? And there was oh, there was that one presenter who sounded like that. Every single time. Oh, and Mr. Eamon McNamara, he's got the ball. He's hitting it down into the midfield, down to Owen Scully. Owen Scully hits the ball up into the air. Over the bar it goes. Two points for Kilkenny. What a lad! I won't stop until every home in America has the ultimate Irish peeler. <laughs> there it is. And there. <laughs> there it is. And there. And there. And there it is. And there. And there. Yes, Ronnie. Oh, man. What a man. I thought that we'd never get any better than the slap chop for presenters. But Ronnie has proven us all wrong. Ronnie is top of the game. Vince can go suck a fart out of a nun's arse at this point. Because Ronnie has taken the cake. I want to buy these peelers. I want to take Ronnie out for pints. This Ronnie though, not that other no noises! There's a whole channel of these. The Ultimate Irish Prep Ball, the Ultimate Irish Peeler. There's a ton of products on this channel. Is there any more Ronnie though? I want to see Ronnie. Ronnie's great. Ronnie should be at the top. Have you noticed the pattern here? It's like Tac Light Pro, 79%. Tac Light, 85%. Tac Zoom, 92%. Yeah, Tack Lighter 82, Robo Twist 76. Ronnie's up here with 98 and 100% ratings on these videos. Ronnie's the man. You need to get him back. I don't care about all these other phonies. What is this about? Why does everyone How do hate you it? You open tough jar lids. Do you try this one? Or this one? Or how about this one? Honey. This is the future. <laughs> Do you open it with a knife with the blade up towards you very dangerously? Do you run it under hot water? Or do you rely on sexism to get your jars open today? Introducing RoboTwist, oh, the robotic thing. jar opener that easily twists off even the toughest lids. Just set it down, press the button, and watch it work. 
First, the RoboStrong <laughs> vise locks down tight. Then the powerful twisting action unscrews the lid. I've seen this thing a bunch. I think I might have reacted to one of these on the channel already. Have I? This looks like a sure waste of time. It's like, put that on, wait a half hour, and then you've got your sauce. Even the toughest stuck jars don't stand a chance. RoboTwist is ideal for seniors and arthritis sufferers. <laughs> Granny's back and she's got her arthritis. <laughs> She'll never be able to get away from it. No matter what happens, all of these commercials have a granny with arthritis in them. But let's face it, even the strongest of us sometimes meet our match. He's not even fucking trying. RoboTwist has the muscle you need. Even the strongest of us sometimes meet our match. He's making a mockery out of you, Granny. Granny's over here actually busting a hip trying to get this arthritis thing open. Arthritis sufferers. But let's... A finger's about to pop off, and this guy's like, ho oh. ho Let's face it, even the strongest of us sometimes meet our match. RoboTwist has the muscle you need. <laughs> and there's no job oh. it can't tackle. <laughs> That's that, cute. That <laughs> That's actually adorable. I love that. How about that sticky jar of jam? RoboTwist gets... <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Did all the other jam jars explode around this one? What happened? It looks like a monster swallowed it and puked it back up. How did you get jam all over that like that if the lid is stuck? That's right. Whether the jar is big or small, Robo Twist can open them all. That's and so satisfying. Big or small, Robo Twist can open. Dude, that's tight. I want a Robo Twist just so I can open up three jars at the same time and listen to. Me. I'm gonna make my own beats out of this. Small Robo Twist. Can open them all, Fuck and yeah. it's compact for easy storage. Robo Twist can open them Hell all. Hell yeah! Robo Twist has got easy bars. This is the future. Oh, hit, hit, him, hit him again today. with it! Rob hit this him again is the with future. it! Go order your. Good God! That's the sound of Granny's knuckles popping as she tries to open up the jar. Cause Granny's got her tritus, and as she said, a jar a day will keep the giants away. <laughs> I'm not sure what that really means, but Grandma's got arthritis. She knows all the tricks. It's amazing you know how God made it. Wait, why does this have so many dislikes? Why do people not like this? <laughs> so I'm sitting here watching some commercial for RoboTwist that automatically unscrews jars for you. So that's why I'm here. And they show the sticky jar of jam. I'm sorry, but if your jam jar looks like this on the outside of it, you've got a lot more problems in life than unsticking a jar lid. Perhaps not getting the lid off that jam jar is nature's way of telling you to throw it out already. <laughs> Yeah, that was, uh, that was too much. <laughs> I want to see more of the adventures of Granny and the Muscle Man. That's what I'm talking about! They seem like a great duo. I would watch that anime. If there was a super muscular dude, and then Baba Chan next to him. Just going on adventures. Oh no. This one has comments and likes turned off. Why? What happened here? This is- Oh, we're getting into the fucking weeds of it now. There's gonna be deep lore for this channel. I found my new obsession. This is- uh, Get ready for tons more funniest home videos from Jacksepticeye, because we're going deep on this one. When it's warm, you'd love to open every door and let fresh air into your home. The trouble is, you'd end up letting lots of bugs into your home as well. Oh, no! Now, there's Magic Mesh, the new type of screen door that opens easily and then magically closes itself behind you. Whoa. So if your hands are full, or you have a forgetful family member, you What an absolute bollocks! <laughs> Get off the phone and learn some manners! You can still let fresh air in and keep annoying bugs out. The secret wow. isn't really magic, it's magnets. 18 magnets to be exact. Some would say that magnets are nature's magic. Why Why does nobody like this? I'm kind of genuinely into it. Like, I know screen doors are a thing in most American homes already uh, to keep the bugs in and out. We don't have them here. I just have the window open. It could be all sorts getting in here. I could have a whole uh, family of five badgers coming in the window. There's a mosquito in here already! It's great for pets too, because instead of scratching and whining, they can come and go as oh, they shit. please. And it puts an end to slamming doors because it closes gently every time. Wait, what? Please, and it puts an end to slamming doors because it closes gently every time. No, 
it doesn't. You can't just have this on your house. You're still gonna have to close the door. It makes it easy for robbers to come into your house because they can get in super quick and then the clacking of the magnets will wake you up and then you'll catch the robbers and they'll go to jail, bad guy. Plus, it's so easy to install. No nails, no screws, no tools. Excuse me? Plus, it's so easy to install. No nails. She has nails right there. Goes up in seconds and stays up all season long, no matter how often you, your kids, or your dog go through. So oh, let the editing. fresh air in and keep those annoying bugs out with Magic Mesh. Guys, I kind of want one. I kind of want all of this. Why does nobody like Magic Mesh? I don't get it. What the hell is a fucking tack bat? Tack tool, tactical lighter, tack light pro, tack light. The boom torch, the tack zoom, the shawala spray mop, tack light power, tack lantern, the egg pot. These are some fantastic names. Hi, I'm Tacksepticai, and welcome back to my tactical channel. All right, we'll give him one more. This is 68%, arguably the worst rating out of anything I can see on this page. So I want to see why. Everybody has sunglasses. But most sunglasses make things darker. What? Of course most sunglasses make things darker. That's what they do. They block out the sun. <laughs> Not these. Nick Bolton here with the latest from Bell and Howell. We call them tack glasses. Oh, shit. Nick, you're no runny, but my god, do you look cool. If you want to look like Jeff Goldblum from The Fly, get the tack glasses. Invisible objects suddenly become visible. Enhance colors to give you vision as sharp as an eagle's. Are your- is the exposure in your eyes turned way too high? Turn it down with the tack glasses. And survive even the harshest conditions. Look, ordinary sunglasses just make things darker, which could be deadly in a tactical situation. <laughs> I didn't even but see him! But tack glasses improve optical clarity, so you can see clearly even in low light. Whoa! If you've never seen how this light filtering technology works, check this out. Nothing to see, right? But look again as we hold up our tack glasses. <laughs> For home and country! Look at this screen. Yes. What do you see? I see a white screen. It should be a dark screen. That should be a black screen because the sunglasses just make things darker. And that could get you in a tactical situation like being outside the Radisson in SoCal. White? Just a plain white screen. Now we're gonna do our sunglasses. Whoa, this is cool. How does it do that? That <laughs> is so awesome. What? Oh my. Whoa, what? That is so cool. <laughs> that is amazing. They're not seeing a damn thing. There's nothing on that screen for them. These guys, I, I'm just gonna say guys, I think these people are paid actors. I think they're phonies. I think they're phoning it up for the camera. I don't believe this at all. I'm smart. Whether you're on the trail or on the golf course, on the water or on the slopes, with tack glasses, you'll always see clear- <laughs> He was not on the fucking slopes. He's on a stage! That's green screen! You can't see my eyes. This is a very serious video and I'm gonna take it very seriously. You'll always see clearly without any glare. There's just nothing like him on the market today. Act now to get- There's lots like it on the market today. This is 2017! Aren't these basically just like... The same sort of goggles you get when you go snowboarding? I kind of want them to review them and call bullshit. We'll even include a blank card that reveals our American Eagle when you put on your tack glass. <laughs> you know what? I wasn't sure if I was going to get them at all. But I'm sold now! I gotta get myself a pair of tack glasses so I can just get that American Eagle card. Whoa. If that website doesn't just scream clarity and top class at you, I don't know what does. I'm sold, man. I want the tack glasses. The tack glasses might just be the greatest pair of glasses that humanity has ever seen. This is the forefront of technology in the world. And you know why I believe it? Because of this lady right here. Very, very cool. I wasn't a believer until she said that. And now I want them. Well, that's gonna do it for today. That does it for another episode of Jacksepticeye's Footiest Home Videos. It's back, everybody. We've breathed new life into it. We're on to season three now. The filler arc is over. Those filler episodes are gone. You know, like episode 137 to episode 940 of Naruto. We're gonna dig deep into this channel. We're gonna see the best of the best next time. 
and we're really gonna see what I actually want to order. I, I literally want to buy all the things that I saw today. As much as I made fun of them. I want them all. But I hope you had fun, and I hope you had lots of... Lots! And why not stick an old subscribe on the channel? Look down below. There'll be a red button that'll say subscribe. Uh, sure, Granny's got her try his. She can't click the mouse to do it. So you're gonna have to do it yourself. About 40% of people that watch the channel aren't even subscribed. They're freeloading moochers. They're sitting around watching the videos without any sort of commitment. Don't miss out. Don't miss out! Also, please leave a like in the video if you're excited for Funniest Home Videos to be back. And we'll do plenty more in the future. We've got a, we've got a new overlord today. And his name is Ronnie. I'm not sure what that really means, but Grandma's got arthritis. She can't be doing that.